Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming <laughs> to share with you the bottles and this... not sure how to call that. <laughs> I do have loads of styles of bottles in my home and I'm, I'm kind of saving them lately to create some Halloween decorations and for that I'm coming today to share with you uh, the sheet with Halloween labels and also to share with you the process video of how you can make really cool and vintage looking home decoration for your Halloween. So what do you what do you need? You need some kind of bottle and it doesn't have to be a bottle from glass. It can be plastic bottle. It can be from paper uh, some something what can hold inside any kind of poison or <laughs> or dry herbals something what witches and uh, wizards will use you can use uh, bottles small like this you can use something like this go to have a look and do not throw away the empty bottles from your food these can be very easily reshaped into shape like this which is very close to that old witches uh, apothecary and today we will create some of them i'm gonna be using this this oh this one is too small so this the plastic one the <clears throat> glass one and this very weird shape and we will together create vintage looking apothecary bottles so first of all, clean all your bottles from any kind of commercial labels they are holding right now. So you can leave bits and pieces here and there from those original labels. Uh, they will add kind of like granginess and old looking uh, style uh, to your glasses, uh, to, to your bottles once they are covered with uh, the paint or they are toned with the alcohol inks depends of what kind of painting you're gonna choose or you can clean them totally if you are going for a very clean and very neat style i left here and there some bits and pieces because i don't mind at all <laughs> i like them grungy so for me this will be profit and now you need to choose what kind of color you want to have these bottles if you want to have the bottles uh just toned with the colors and you want to see actually what is inside the best color what you can choose either for glass uh, bottles or for bottles from the plastic the best choice are alcohol inks and i'm gonna show you on this plastic bottle the alcohol inks will just uh, make a tone tone of that color you're gonna choose on your bottle or uh, in the in the some kind of different shape i still don't know how you call these <laughs> on these plastic thingies so even black ink uh, will do just shading but you will still see through so the best choice for making kind of like see through to your bottle are alcohol inks so i'm gonna be using black acrylic paint this is from windsor and newton uh, yeah, Mars Black and you can uh, pre-coat your bottle especially these glass and plastic bottles they need some kind of basic coat for that is perfect gesso or uh, I'm gonna be using this bindex this is acrylic binder and it's perfect like a base like that basic coat so I'm gonna grab my <laughs> coloring tool and I'm gonna prepare both of these I will need to take off my sunflower seeds and can you imagine that I will uh, make this with this label? I think that will be good, <laughs> that this will be dried spider butts. So I do have both of them here. I'm going to be working on all of my bottles now i can't now i can't see my plastic bottle i will have to find my plastic bottle and all of them i'm gonna cover first with this bindex to make sure that my acrylic paint will then stick 
more easily and this is perfect tool for coloring uh, you know any kind of these bottles or bowls or food savers I think it's called <laughs> something like food saver or food organizer so all of them I'm gonna cover with this bindex and I'm gonna let it dry I have found my bottle <laughs> spill out all that ink but I do have my bottle back and before I will start to put that, that bindex I want to reshape that bottle for that I'm gonna be using using cardboard box and uh, probably some book pages I do have here piece of cardboard box uh, I do have my bottle and I do have this uh, masking tape and the bottle can sit inside so I'm gonna be using that masking tape as my template to cut out the base for my bottle. I'm gonna make one circle, the outside drawing, and one circle inside drawing. And I'm gonna fussy cut out those two circles. So I do have circles cut out from that cardboard box. I'm gonna glue them together and make a base for my bottle. So I'm gonna place it right here. Now on this, this bottle will be standing here and from the circle or from the bottle I'm gonna be gluing the book pages and kind of placing them around <coughs> around that paper so the bottle shape will change a little bit so I need to glue the bottle on on my papers or on those paper circles And I can take hot glue gun, but I think it will melt a little bit that bottle. I actually don't mind if it will melt that bottle. I'm gonna try super glue and hope for the best. If that will don't work, I'm gonna be using super, uh, hot glue gun. And I'm gonna add there the super glue. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be super strong but it needs to be put together at least a little bit I will secure it later with all those book pages I'm planning to add there so as you can see it's holding so I need to secure it first with those book pages I'm gonna put here double sided tape and now I'm gonna add the book page And here I'm gonna be using just glue stick and uh -huh, there you are and place the book page around the edge. I'm gonna do opposite side first book page here and kind of that ring it's my navigator how far I should go with book pages and again from the bottom I'm gonna place book page now the sides <clears throat> and now I'm gonna be placing the book pages to fill all these gaps so I will make few layers all around you know to fill every single gap I do have here I'm using one inch strips of book pages and they are all same long and all same 
thickness. And now those next ones. Next book pages, I'm gonna add the glue on all that strip. And then glue it over these first ones. And always I will go a little bit down with starting next layer here. And once I do have this <clears throat> kind of like basic shaping done, uh, I'm going to grab the brush and very all next layers, for all next layers, I'm going to be using uh, liquid glue and wipe everything with the glue and then just layer and layer another pieces. So I do have my very dirty <laughs> basic shape done. I'm gonna put that glue on all that bottle and let it dry properly. So once your base coat is dry, I do have here <coughs> dry this one and this one. You can get up your paint and start to paint it. And I'm gonna just tap 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 and spread that paint all over of this one. And then I will let it dry with that uh, kind of like altered plastic bo uh, bottle. I will need uh, to do few more layers of napkin to kind of make those edges nice and smooth without those cross parts of the book pages. Because if I will put uh, the painting right now on it, I will see every those steps where the book pages are ending. So I can take a kitchen towel, you know, that paper one. This one. Or some napkins, something smooth and soft, which will kind of like melt uh, in the glue. And start to place it on it, piece by piece strip by strip and make that top more soft. I'm gonna do it here or I can take uh, some tool and with that tool I mean maybe sanding block <coughs> or, or nail file that's my that's my very favorite tool for sanding or smoothing any kind of surface surfaces so something like that to take and start to dab it on your bottle it will make another kind of like uh, dimensions or texture and it will also create beautiful foldings which will look more uh, natural than the edges of the book pages so if I will dab it this way I will create beautiful top 
and a beautiful top coat and I will uh, create those folds and all kind of wrinkles and after this is drying I can paint it with black paint so once you have all your bottles painted or uh, stained with those inks you can fussy cut out all these labels and start a plan of which label you will put where you will put them I did print uh, print out my labels on very light plate uh, paper uh, 90 GSM paper normal copy copy or printer paper and uh, I'm gonna be using this to stick on my uh, I mean <laughs> these labels to stick them on these bottles uh, for these small pieces I can use them also on these bottles but I can also reinforce them with some uh, cereal box and then I can use them as a hanging tax and that's what I'm gonna do I do have here all my bottles this is uh, how that plastic bottle looks like now and I really like that shape and also that texture uh, it looks <laughs> so weird it looks really good and I really like that shape and also we will change the tops and um, I will have to think about this one so I'm thinking I'm gonna start with this because it's the most easy one I'm gonna choose what vampire blood no vampire blood should be here I can put nightmare here <laughs> Or I can put Nightmare right here as well. So, okay, I'm gonna be planning which kind of... Yeah, I think this way. So I do have my plans done. I didn't use Distress Ink yet. I will distress the edges as well. But after I will glue the papers on my bottles. So I'm using again uh, that Bindex because it does work as a glue as well. So I'm gonna apply that bindex. You can use any kind of glue actually. But I found that this bindex works. Oh, wrong spot. There you go. Works beautifully. So I'm gonna place it on my bottle, let it dry. I do same with all the other images as well so for these which don't have to dry from that top coat I'm gonna be using distress ink and I'm gonna kind of work with the edges of my label and right now here I see that a piece of that black uh, color just drop down what is good to do in the end of your coloring and all kind, kind of shading get some top coat <clears throat> and put some top coat on your paintings that will avoid any kind of uh, color droppings hopefully I still have here yeah and I can actually go on the edges with my sponge as well Okay, that's one. Now this one. And same like with that other one, I'm gonna go a little bit with that black, black color. For finishing touches, prepare some decoration. If you do have some uh, Halloween stamps, stamp the images and prepare small chipboard pieces. And then cheesecloth and some thread. I'm gonna be using this uh, nature style Utah thread. And we will get to those finishing touches. Ripped long strip of the cheesecloth. I do have something like that here. And it's good to have prepared also hot glue gun. 
I do have my hot glue cone ready, and I'm gonna take right this this bottle. <laughs> I like that look. Look at the texture because of those uh, of that kitchen towel. I do have a very weird texture on my bottle, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that hot glue right here. And start to wrap. You can use distress inks and distress or, uh, um, you know, ink the cheesecloth cheese cloth straight away before you will glue it on your bottle. I'm gonna do it after it's wrapped all around. And just wrap the cheesecloth all around, all around of the top of the bottle. Be careful, hot glue, it's hot. So do not burn yourself. Then uh, I'm gonna grab a little, not small, I'm gonna grab this. See, I did use it before, okay. I'm gonna use this as an embellishment. <laughs> I'm gonna glue it right here. No, I'm gonna glue it like last one. I'm gonna start from opposite side. Grab the thread. And I will place you, I think, here. I'm gonna use this uh, Utah thread because it looks very beautiful, old, vintage. I'm gonna put a glue here and just start to wrap that thread around that glue. And around my bottle. To make a layers now that I do have that last drop, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and place it down. More uneven, more kind of like fluffy, it will look the better it is for this project. Uh, oops. Maybe, maybe I will use <laughs> this. Is vintage photo distress ink. So that's what I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna just make that top of bottle dirty. I'm gonna a little bit lift up this to cover all that top, and add there a little bit of black ink here and there. If you don't have distress inks, you can use coffee. Coffee is per perfect for coloring this one. You can use any kind of these tacks and just glue it to one strip and l leave it uh, like a tack hanging on these threads and for a closure you can leave it like it is this way and just display it on your table on your shelves or if you want to create a closure for that bottle <laughs> I did create this closure and as you can see my camera doesn't zoom. I'm going to try to zoom it myself. So as you can see, it's a roulette book page. I'm going to show you what I did. This is most long uh, craft for this project. It takes a time, but <laughs> it looks so cute. I did roulette strips of book pages, glued them together. I measured the size I need. And then I just push it inside. So I do have my closure. I did cut book pages one inch wide. And in the size of what book pages were. And then I started to wrap it. Uh, the base which I used right from the start was a wooden pick. So on that wooden pick. I glued the first book page. To make sure it will hold on something and I will have more easy way how to glue it. Then I grab the glue. Put a glue on that book page. On the end I did glue another strip. And I started to roll. It takes time so... Make sure you do have prepared some nice, <laughs> nice movie. And while watching that movie, <laughs> go to wrap your book page cork <laughs> slash cork. 
it's not cork, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Your book page, uh, maybe wine bottle, uh, closure. This takes time, but I have to say it looks amazing. Especially when you will notice that this has some writing. So it's perfect for Halloween. If you will choose maybe some horror book, some scary book, and you will try to keep some words visible, it will be perfect. And as I said, while watching movie, you can, you can start to roll your closure. You will need loads of papers. You don't have to use book pages if you will use some decorative paper, thicker paper. It will doesn't take that much long because the book pages are very thin. So therefore it takes time. But if you will use some decorative paper or you can use fabric and from fabric, from strips of fabric you can put together some kind of closure and just roll it, roll it, roll it. So it took me 10 minutes, this one. <clears throat> and as you can see, I am nearly, nearly in the size. So I think I will need another one, maybe two strips, but no more. Oh, perfect. I can go there. So this will be perfect. Now I can either broke that wooden stick and leave it there why not or I can use scissors and cut it down I'm gonna be using my distress ink again that vintage photo and I'm gonna go to add their color right now while that rolling if you wanna have their kind of like a, a thread Put that thread through to that uh, roulette uh, layers somewhere in the middle. Put on one side, one end of the thread you want to put there. Then roll the paper and then on the opposite side put the opposite end of your thread. And you can have here on the top kind of like loop for maybe for, you know, pulling that bot bottle cork. Now I need to kind of push it inside. This will be good. So my last step, either this glue or any kind of liquid liquid glue. Or I'm going to color this a little bit more. And I'm going to kind of secure my bottle cork with the hot glue. I'm just going to put the glue over it and spread it with the tip of my hot glue gun kind of secure that small creation sorry for zooming my camera doesn't zoom again and i can push it inside eh, glue myself <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put the writing to the front and I do have bottle lid for my bottle. So that's all what I will do probably with those uh, bottles or one more thing. I do have prepared here seal wax. What you can also do if you want to have kind of neat and really cute bottles and here I <laughs> altered you know that <laughs> that morning um, morning milk <laughs> so I altered my bottle with leaves <laughs> and I need to create that cork and I need to put the the, the cheesecloth so I'm gonna rip another piece of cheesecloth if so yeah I need my scissors Kind of strong cheesecloth, this one. I'm using 90 grade cheesecloth, which is a really good one. 
very strong so here I'm gonna distress the cheesecloth at the first because it's very fragile bottle very small so I'm gonna add the color right now and as I said if you don't have distress inks you can use coffee tea and make the colors using these or you can use the watercolors any kind of paint you have at home make kind of watercoloring mix and color your cheesecloth or you can use already dirty <laughs> dirty cloth <laughs> that's another option and maybe here why not i'm gonna I'm gonna use piece of book page from the bottom but first I'm gonna distress the edges we will see maybe that will look cute as well I do have my hot glue everywhere so piece of book page here Why not? Like this. I'm gonna wrap that end. And kind of squeeze it here because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna get my cheesecloth and start to place on my little bottle the cheesecloth as well. So these little drinks they are not only very healthy. <laughs> They are actually perfect for Halloween craft. Oh, I think here I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I'm gonna push that cheesecloth inside as well. I'm gonna twist it and twist it one more time. And here I want to see that ripped, uh, ripped edge of my cheesecloth. And now I'm going to put the cheesecloth inside. So I'm going to add the glue inside and push it inside. Push you the string. Here I'm going to hold one end. Over up this around, kind of make a bunch, and I'm gonna make a knot here. And I can actually use my poison, uh, poison tag. I do have two of them, so I can glue them around these strings. But I do have that poison here that will be too much. How about you? I have punched a hole here in that tack. I'm gonna slide there uh, the thread like this and from this opposite side I need to lay down like this from this opposite side. I'm gonna secure it with the wax seal. I've got it prepared right here. And here I do have a uh, tack with poison and from opposite side I do have seal wax and it can be really cute decoration for that square box. I did paint it with that black 
paint, uh, don't forget to put always on the top once you are finished some um, some seal, uh, some seal uh, top coat which will uh, protect the painting from scratching. Every these paints will go down very easily if you will don't protect the paint. Uh, you will just catch it and the paint will will be gone if you will don't seal it with some top coat. For that it's perfect Mod Podge. Uh, it's perfect this bindex I'm using all the time <clears throat> now. So any kind of these uh, top coats, seal coats or uh, sealing mediums, they are perfect to use. Or maybe sprays, you know, top coat spray like clear one I mean they are perfect to finish your work and protect your work to make sure it will hold for some time so here I'm gonna be adding cheesecloth here then I need some book page and I do have this one hmm. So I'm going to distress book pages. Stack them on, on my lid. And cover all that with another piece of cheesecloth. Squeeze it and on the top I do have already made seal wax and I do have pre-made uh, the leaves here which I made from book pages and my leftovers so I'm gonna add that here on the top. And silvax right here. The sides I'm gonna secure again with that Utah string. I'm gonna wrap it all around a few times. And here I'm gonna tight a knot and secure it with a hot hot glue a little bit. And that's my little box. <laughs> it looks like it does have a big headache. <laughs> so that's my sharing for today. I do hope you did enjoy it. I hope you will create your decorative bottles from any kind of bottle you do have at home. Feel free to download all these uh, labels. They are included with this post. They will be active again for 48 hours. So do not miss that that post if you like these, uh, these labels. Uh, just click on the link down below. Scroll a little bit down. There is public post. It's nothing what you have to pay for. It's on my Patreon, but it's public post for 48 hours. After that, it will be only for my Patreons, so feel free to download it now. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Get prepared for Halloween, and I will see you soon. Bye.